Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're covering the arrow icon with the scroll into view element trigger. We're going to be taking these Lottie icon arrows and when we scroll into view of the arrows, we're going to animate them and really get the user's attention to go and interact with this slider component. Let's see how this looks inside preview. When I open preview and I scroll into view, you'll see that these are working quite nicely. Scroll out and when I scroll in, it's doing a full, full circle, full arrow movement and it is nice, brings the attention to the user and you can still interact with the slider as normal. Nice. Okay, let's see how this looks inside Navigator. We are using the native Webflow slider component. We have the nader, native UI slider arrows and inside we have our Lottie icons. And these Lottie icons are sitting right inside the clickable area. So clicking this is going to next and previous. And we have an important add-on class of the previous of left to rotate it 180 degrees so that we can use the same Lottie icon for both next and previous. All right, let's jump into IX2 and see how this works. We have a element trigger set to the Lottie icon itself and it's scroll into view. When this Lottie icon is 25% in view, we're going to run our arrow into view animation. And when it's scrolled out of view, we're going to run our out of view animation. And I'm actually gonna change this, this to zero. I want this to happen when it's fully out of the screen and the user is fully reset. It's not visible whatsoever. So let's go into the scroll into view first. And when we scroll into view, our initial state is 0%. We are not going to see any part of this Lottie icon. And when it scrolls in for two seconds, we're going to animate up to 70%. So you can see we have all these steps, all these frames, nice, nice, nice. And then at 70, we stop. Not 100. 70. You can also play around with the initial state here. Maybe you don't want the full animation of the circle and maybe you just want a couple of arrow movements. And you can do that, just having that. That's cool too. But we're gonna do the full circle, so we're gonna start at zero. And when we scroll into view, we're gonna see this nice full movement, great. And then when we scroll out of view, we are going to return to its initial state, which is 0%. And all that's happening is it's going from wherever it is inside the animation, could be all the way at the end of 70, it could be in the middle of the animation. It is gonna go right back to zero when this icon is out of view. And there we go. So let's do this final look into it. And we have this playing. We're going to go out of view and play it again. Nice, very cool. Creates a nice little custom effect, just a few steps. And that's how you implement the arrow icon with a scroll into view element trigger. That's effing sweet.